Hey you guys, this is your girl Natalie, also known as Crown Me Rasta Doll. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, I already know. Let's address the elephant in the room. I haven't been here in months, okay? I know. But today we're just gonna do just a chill, sit down, makeup and talk type of video. We're just gonna be chatting. Honestly, life was just life in. But now I'm back, right? So I kind of didn't have that much motivation for makeup at the time, but now I'm definitely getting so excited about like just spring and the warm weather and God's willing no more no more you know what you know what I'm trying to say like please okay we just need it we need it at this point we need to be outside so yeah I'm excited for outside this spring and this summer so yeah with that comes getting cute okay and that's honestly the reason why I love doing YouTube I just love to get cute hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of me if you are already a subscriber love you guys from the bottom of my heart i know i know i know i have not been giving you what you what you need i haven't been given okay i haven't been given but i'm about to give i'm about to give i'm about to everything okay so yeah definitely stay tuned follow me on my instagram instagram is the same name as the youtube crown underscore me underscore rastador and let's jump straight into this video you guys saw from the intro we're gonna be doing a little makeup and a little chit chat we're just gonna be hanging out this is not gonna be like any real sophisticated <laughs> type of um, makeup um, tutorial I just literally got some new makeup and I'm actually like excited about makeup again if that's a thing but anyway we're gonna talk about that we're gonna jump straight into the makeup but um yeah so the table that I originally used to I just gotta fix my whole setup y'all I was stressed just now okay the SD card was giving me issues the camera the ring light everything would give me issues they don't want to see you make a YouTube video they don't want it. They don't want to see you do it. You know what I'm trying to say? That's what, that's what it was given. Honestly, even though it's been a couple months, um, I've been using a lot of the same things. These are actually the newest things that I've bought. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Chocolate. And I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Brow Gel. And for my eyebrows, what I've been doing is I've been trying to get them as wispy and as natural looking as possible. So I'm going to just brush out my brows first. And I found what helps with making it look more natural and more wispy is having less product on the brush. I personally just like to have like a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take my makeup forever. The reason I personally like to use the brow gel is because I feel like it gives the brows a more natural look and it's not so like drawn on. It gives it like a little, accentuates the actual hairs in the brows. I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in the shade Deep Olive and this is like a pretty bright highlight. Like on a regular day, I don't use like a bright highlight like this. So after I do the bottom, of course I'm going to go ahead and clean up the top. And of course I'm not going to use this bright behind concealer. Remember when we actually used to do that? Girl, I was looking back at some pictures from like 2009, 2010. Sis. <laughs> So I'm just going to go in with a foundation. This is the Morphe Filter Rich 27 foundation. This is not the one I'm going to use today, but just any foundation that's your skin tone. So apologies for the constant dog barking in the background. I can't help it. If I wait for that dog to stop barking, I would never be able to film a video period. Alright, so I'm going to go in with this Ace Beauté Eyeshadow Amplifying Base in the color Deep. As you guys can see, after putting a highlight, like my natural color of my eyelids are kind of dark now. Alright y'all, so this is what I'm so excited for. I'm going to be trying out the Culture Palette by Juvia's Place. So this is the Culture Palette, $36, and then they also have some Duo Chrome. Let me get it right. Duo Chrome Liquid Eyeshadow. So I got two of them. There's four of them. But the other two look kind of dark. But these things are so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I tried it on my hand like when I first got the package. 
died okay <laughs> it is freaking gorgeous so I got two shades I got Ankara and Fula these are $15 a piece so it looks white in the packaging and when you put it on your look at that y'all so this is Fula so beautiful look at that y'all and then this is Ankara so Ankara is like more gold I believe oh my gosh it looks purple bluish it's like definitely duochrome has a shift Oh my gosh, low-key, I want to get another of these two. I study and if I should get the next two, but the other two look so dark. They look like pinky red. Oh my god, this one has like a yellow gold shift. Go or oh, or oh, or just. I think I'm gonna use the yellow gold one today. No mirror, but oh my gosh, look at the colors. Isn't this gorgeous, y'all? Like, oh my gosh, a couple colors just standing out for me. This green is bomb. I love the oranges. This blue. This palette is the first palette that I saw, and I was like, in a while, and I was like, I need that. Okay, because I feel like I have so many palettes. How much colors I gonna need? So, but this is just so pretty. I don't even know what I want to do today. I think I'm gonna keep it neutral, brown, golden, orangey. Uh, y'all, honestly, I'm just gonna give y'all a heads up right now. I'm gonna use this palette at least two more times. All the rows are definitely in sync. And I think in my crease, I'm gonna do 1960, which is this shade right here. Oh my gosh. It looks so much darker than I even thought it was gonna be. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Like I said, I'm actually starting to like really get back into love and makeup again. I don't know. I'm just over it for a minute. I think we all were. So I want to go into this bright. You guys can't really see the color, but this is like a bright orange. So I want to go into that and see what it does. Now I want to go into the darkest shade, Wazovia, and I want to add that to my outer crease. These colors are super pigmented. Not even going to lie to you kind of tapping that shade on just so I could get optimal color now I'm gonna go into the glittery shade that's in this palette I literally just want to see what it looks like because I am gonna be using the duochrome in Ankara over top but I just want to see what it's given we want to see what it's given baby if I didn't have an extra $15 to spend on the duochrome what's the palette giving you know what I'm saying? of course I'm gonna spray my brush after I pick up that shade Oh, it's pretty. I could already tell I'm gonna love this palette. So this is what it's given, and this is just the um eyeshadow. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna go back into the darker shade and I'm just gonna blend in that with the gold. See that? I'm gonna just blend that. So it's not looking so rough. Like like the gold just landed on my eye child. So it's looking blended. Like it belong. Like it's part of the family. This is gonna, oh my god. It's like the perfect spring summer palette. It's just like gorgeous. Now I'm gonna go into the duo chrome whatever. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take some and put it on my brush for now. Because I don't know. I don't want it to be too close to my lid. Because I still gotta line my eyes. Ooh. Uh, I don't even know if you guys can see what it's doing, but I can see like a um, green kind of shift. Oh, it's gorgeous. I think I'm going to keep it just in the middle. Like a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe. Do you guys see that? I don't even think you guys can see it, which is so annoying. Some things you just got to see in person. If you looked at the, sh the website and saw this and was thinking, do I need this? Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes and then we're gonna come back in for the face and yes We got some new face products, too All right y'all I'm so excited. I'm actually happy to be back I'm happy to be back you guys like I missed this so I got a couple new things not the new I'm bugging it's new to me it's not new to y'all not new to makeup but it's new to me my lips are so dry it's like the second time I put on 
chapstick since I started this video. Dry lip gal. But yeah. <laughs> so I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury foundation as yet, but I do have the powder and I'm super excited about it. I've used it already. I've used it like three times and I do think it makes my it just it does something. So I have the Flawless. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. I'll put prices and everything down below because I really am able to go look it up right now. I got mine in the shade, I think this is the darkest shade for deep. Um, oh, geez, um, open my man. <sighs> kind of dusty. But this is what it looks like. This is for deep and it is actually deep enough for me. It looks a little light but to me that's how powders be looking. So this is the powder that I, yeah they're about the same shade. You need to look at it. This is the Sephora Micro Smoothing Powder and that's like my normal powder. As you can see it's hit and pan. So yeah it's about the same shade. They be looking darker when you put them on your face. So yeah. But this is for deep and oh my god love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. And I also saw another YouTuber using the this same powder but they did it under their eye just as like a finish and touch and they use two medium and she's about my complexion so I purchased that but I got this small one because I was like I'm not it was like I'm not about to spend $45 on a uh, powder that's like nowhere close to my skin tone okay this is what it looks like but I want to try it to go over again I have tried it just to, this is like perfect for videos and pictures or like if you're going to um like if it's a, a an event or something and you really want to give that this is what's that for I've also been trying out the Patrick star I believe this is by Patrick star the one size translucent powder as you guys know I don't know if you guys know if you guys are new here <laughs> my two faves are the Laura Mercier honey powder and the Fenty cashew powder those are like my two I interchange them intermingle them but those are like my two bays so so far I've actually been using this one size translucent probably like the past week and I've been liking it so I'm pretty much still doing the same technique of putting a little less product on my face just because I feel like again I don't need it so like it's not a necessity we're just gonna use the Marc Jacobs blurring coconut face primer I just like to have a little barrier between my skin and the product to be honest so yeah so that's that. Am I blurred? I've been using the Dose of Colors Concealer. I have shades 21 and 22. 22 is a little bit closer to my skin complexion. 21 is, like, as you guys can see, a little bit of a highlight for foundation. I also use the Dose of Colors Foundation. And this is in the shade 131 Dark. This is pretty much what you're going to see me applying to my face. I'm actually going to go in with the Too Faced. So, um, this is in the shade Maple, like I said. So, as you can see, it is a highlight, but it's not like a crazy, crazy highlight, right? I like to outline my liner. Come down the side of my nose. Stretch it out a little bit. I take my concealer and I go around my mouth with this one at least, the, the one that's closer to my skin tone. So I'll take this concealer, go around my mouth, I go here, bring it up just to like lift my lips. My lips a little bit. I even had a pimple on my damn lip, y'all, that left the mark. It's just like, I don't know what's been going on. Shook. I think it's stress, y'all. I gotta, gotta relax. Sometimes your body, you might not know your stress, but your body's letting you know. It's just you gotta relax, okay? Alright, so now I'm gonna bring it up a little bit just like dear. Yeah, baby. Yeah, alright, boom. So that's that. And you know, for concealer, I like to let it sit because the longer you let it sit, the more it just adheres to your skin and it just provides for a fuller coverage. But you also have to know what you're doing when you're doing that. You have to know the concealer. Some concealers dry extremely quick. This Dose of Colors concealer actually dries pretty quickly. So I'm going to just put this one. See how much lighter it is? I'm going to just put that in like the corner of my eye. Like right there. So I'm going to take Juvia's Place Tunisia. This is their foundation stick and this is what I use for my contour. I'm going to take it, I put it on this brush. This is a Kat Von D brush but you can see it's kind of curved or whatever. I put it like here under my chin just to provide that, um, I don't know, I'll just put it there. I'm going to go over this with my foundation anyway. I don't know. To me, it kind of covers up the darkness that I have there. So you don't have to do that. Then, of course, I put it in the hollow of my cheek, like so. 
you know I like to bring mine kind of up to lift my face a little bit so yeah so put that right there of course we're gonna go over all of this with foundation and of course we're gonna blend out this concealer so if it looks like whoa that's a lot don't worry about it don't worry about it now we're going to go on our hairline so you gotta put if you have a head tight one like I do push them up because you don't want it to just look like a random dark line coming out of nowhere you want it to kind of blend into your hairline so that's why I lift up my hair tie make sure I get in there to me this gives it like a little shadow underneath and then it makes your nose look more like a like a pointy tip you know what I'm saying so I, I, I really like that step now I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer before I can't blend it out yeah one more minute and I ain't gonna be able to blend them out Just like so. I'm gonna leave like you know, put a little bit up there. We're gonna go in with our foundation now. Now I'm gonna go in with my Dosa Colors again, 131 foundation. This is my Morphe E63 foundation brush. I love this brush. The reason why I did all of this base already is so that I don't have to put a lot of foundation. Because I feel like if I went in with foundation first, I would have covered with foundation. And then I would have done all of this on top of the foundation. And that's just a lot of product. You know what I'm saying? Especially as the warm weather is coming, we don't need that much, okay? I mean, maybe you think you do. If you think you do, girl, do you. But I don't need that much. Let me correct myself. Because child. I want nobody coming for me. <laughs> so I'm going to go basically in the areas where I didn't put any product as yet, which is like right along here. I didn't put any product as yet, right? So we're going to go here. The chin, cover up some of that darkness, right? Blend the highlight into the contour with this foundation. Right, kind of blend out that. We don't want that to look crazy. So I pretty much try to let like that amount, see how a little bit, like I didn't use that much foundation, that's for one side, right? And then I kind of just go like this on the side of my nose to provide like a little contour right there, right? Boom. Because I don't really like to go in with a dark, dark contour on my nose. I feel like it looks like a lot. I'm going to put the same amount, like not too much. Just like, look, if you guys could see, it's like really not that much foundation on the brush. So now, before we set anything, we're going to go back in again with our sponge and make sure there are no creases because if we go over creases with powder, we're going to set the crease. And we don't want to do that. And now, I think we're looking good. One thing about this powder though, it is so fine and it just... I love that. So I picked up some and I'm just gonna like stamp it. I like to like just stamp it first. Like that. Let it sit for like a little bit and then pick it up and then like spread it out. See how fine the powder is? I love that. Powder is gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie. I really like it. I've seen a lot of girls talking about it but at first I was like nah. But then when I start seeing more and more girls, more and more girls, everybody, everybody talking about it, I'm like, let me try this powder, and I really like it. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. This, again, is in the color for Deep. Tap this powder into everywhere that I did not place that one size powder. Juvia's Place, the Saharan Blush Volume 1. And I'm going to go into these two, like this orange and this like burnt orange shade. I like to kind of bring my blush up. I think it like lifts your face a little bit. 
Now for highlight, we also have the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Nude Gasm Face Palette for our Runway Ready Bronze Sculpt and Glow. So in here we have a Super Glow Powder, Multi Glow Powder, a Super Sculpt Contour, and a Soft Sculpt Contour. So I don't really use these two contours down here. I just mainly use the highlights. I actually use both of them. I like to use this more like rosy shade um, first and then top it with the golden shade. Go ahead with a little bit of this topper powder like I stated. Like, tap it. Nothing crazy, y'all. And right in this, and only right, right here where I want my brightness. So I use the Thrive Cosmetics um, Liquid Lash Extension mascara because it gives me the most bang for my buck in terms of lashes because you guys know I don't use false lashes face is pretty much finished I just want you guys to get into these eyes so makeup is done I'm gonna go do something with my hair and I'm gonna be back all right, you guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I'm so happy to be back. I'm definitely going to be coming out with a bunch of hauls. I've been thrifting the whole nine. So, yeah, definitely stay tuned. If you are not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. If you are already a subscriber, mwah, so love you guys so much. Bottom of my heart, okay? Um, yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. This is...